Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Pandasaur here. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys some insight on something that I found extremely useful that I have actually neglected to do previously, whether if I was playing on uh, Dofu's PC or if I was just uh, messing around on Dofu's Touch for the first time. Um, for the most part, everybody tries to level up and get to about level 50 or higher and then they go to Frigoss. But one thing that they uh, miss is actually starting the Frigoss quests um, and the whole entire Ice Dofu's quest line. There is a ton of camos that you actually get for not only just killing monsters and exp experiencing your character, but um, just doing simple quests and whatnot. And these quests, as you progress farther along in the quest line, um, the camo payout gets more and more. Um, I think you have to be at least level 90 to start off on the basic quests. Um, and then as, obviously as you progress uh, farther along through um, all the quests that you're doing, um, your character is going to get an intense amount of uh, experience as well as camos. I think uh, around level 98 or almost, we'll just say 100, uh, I started doing this quest line. Um, I've just recently um, got to the last uh, quest for the sustainable growth, which is probably one of my uh, favorite quests to do, uh, just because it really makes you um, sit down and kind of grind out killing monsters. Um, so that definitely gets your characters a lot of experience, as well as whenever you finish the uh, flower gather or uh, the monster kill. Uh, whenever you go and turn in the quest, uh, you get uh, anywhere between like 4 and like 13 million experience. Uh, as well as anywhere between like 40,000 camas and um, up to like 117,000 camas. So um, there's basically a kill quest for every zone in Forgost. Uh, there are doubles where you have to do not only the mobs outside, but also the dungeon. So um, you, you guys are obviously already going to be progressing through Progress, so this is something that you should uh, definitely utilize. Um, as well as uh, something else I want to talk about whenever you actually turn in uh, your bounty kill quest or just complete the Forgast quest, you get a Forgast, uh currency which is the ice camas. The ice camas are extremely valuable uh, just because you're gonna need um, certain materials from the Frigost NPCs, whether it's in the Frigost one area, wherever you're just trying to make certain gears, um, as well as just getting all the way to Frigost three. And once you start doing the uh, Frig three dungeons, uh, you'll be able to unlock um, certain items from the NPC to make better, um, if not the best gear in the game. So definitely uh, take advantage of it because even if, even if you're not making a lot of camas now, uh, in the long run, it's definitely gonna save you guys a bunch. Um, just for me, like I went through and probably crafted um, probably about 15 or 16 uh, Fragos 3 items. And in each of those items, I needed to use a uh, resource that is only obtainable by the uh, NPC in Frogost, where you use ice camas. And just about each of those resources um, are anywhere between 300 and uh, 500,000 camas a piece. So from just doing the quest and being able to access the NPC, I saved almost probably about uh seven or eight million camas as well as doing it on uh as well as crafting my gear on the almanac's uh 15 percent craftsman save bonus in bana i also saved probably another uh uh probably 20 or 30 million camas just in resources in general so um th there's just certain things that you should just kind of utilize or take advantage of whether that's waiting to craft your best gear or uh, a lot of gear at once um, on an Almanax where you can potentially get resources back or pebbles, um, as well as just kind of progressing through the game and taking advantage of certain features and aspects in the game. 
Um, there's also a little bit more stuff that you can do um, to rake in camas in Frogoss. Um, I found out that, we'll just say if you're a fisherman here and you're level 100, um, if you want to farm a bunch of crow loaves uh, to make the inky or any uh, gear in the sucker set, um, you want to just strictly focus on uh, fishing in Frogoss. Uh, I found that probably out of a hundred uh, fishing spawns that I've collected on, I've gotten probably about seven or eight crowloves um, versus just going around uh, in the, the main, main story area and uh, basically leveling from almost 40 all the way to 95-ish and only dropping maybe two or three. So I definitely found that Fergus is the best place to gather fish. Um, if you want to utilize that for camas, as uh, inkies are very valuable, as well as um, there was certain announcements being made in in and on the um, uh, website and Discord uh, for Dose and such about how um, they're going to be revamping a lot of old gear and uh, potentially adding in new gear or changing set bonuses. So. Um, even if it's not a Fragos 3 item, um, certain gears and stuff are, are still going to be extremely valuable, as well as I don't know exactly what they're going to be changing just, just quite yet. It's kind of up in the air, and they're kind of asking players now, but um, that, that's a really good alternative, too, if you just wanted to sit there and grind something and not necessarily kill monsters or progress through quests. Um there's also a few other things you can do too to uh, rake in ice camas. So ice camas you can get daily uh, kill quests from I think his name's Clyde Parker. Um, from him in Fergus One, you can also get a bounty kill quest in uh, uh, Fergus Two area where you, when you get to the petrified forest, the uh, snowbound village. There's a uh, the guy that has. Um, or the guy that's at the militia place, he will allow you to uh, get kill quests there. Um, I also think there was another one too, somewhere in Snowbound Village. Um, I can't remember where it was or if that was just on PC. As well as when you get to uh, Fergus 3, um, one map to the right of the uh, Count Zap, uh, there's also another kill quest there. Um, as you progress farther and farther in the game, uh, the rewards and stuff are going to be more. So the harder the monsters on the kill quest, the more ice camas and stuff that you're going to get. So that's another good option uh, for camas if you just want to level up your character and just kind of stockpile ice camas um, until you get to Fergus 3. And then you can actually use all those and make a decent uh, amount of money. Um, also, I wanted to touch bases on the Ice Dofus quest line. Um, I'm going to be submitting a screenshot in this video, and I'm just going to quickly discuss um, certain things about it. Uh, it basically just lays everything out for you on what you should potentially do, or how, how you should necessarily go about uh, doing each quest in the order that you should do them in, or the order that they have to be uh, done in. Uh, what this guide doesn't show is the amount of resources and the amount of camas that you'll get from doing every single quest in this uh, quest chain. Um, personally, I was just bored and I ended up adding up all the amount of camas that you get strictly from quest, re uh, quest rewards. And I think it's somewhere around like 7 or 7.4 million camas for doing all the um, uh, quest line. Um, but what it doesn't tell you or what it doesn't show is the amount of resources that you get from doing these quests, especially the high-end quests. Whenever you uh, power through all the uh, the early quests and you get to Fergus 3, you get tons, and I mean tons, of Fergus 3 uh, boss map materials. Um, and they are extremely valuable, especially with new sets being introduced um, or just becoming more uh, in demand. For example, the uh, AVA set uh, with um, uh, Volcania being here right now. Um, 
climb scouts are extremely expensive. I remember getting these for like 300 to 500,000 uh, camas a piece. Now they're almost 1.5 million to 2 million camas. And you can definitely get a few of them just from doing the Ice Dofu's quest line, as well as just beating the, the dungeon in general with achievements. So um, if you can take advantage of it, everything that you um, can do to make a profit, you should. Whether if you need to use those materials or not, um, a, dollar, a dollar saved is a dollar earned, so that still applies with camos. Um, I think for the uh, next video, um, I'm going to be uploading uh, exactly what I'm fighting for um, my runes. Um, there's uh, four runes that I'm specifically going to be farming. Uh, well, I guess it's more than four, but four sets of runes that I'm going to be farming. So the elemental damage runes. Uh, I'll be farming those. I will be farming uh, a lot of AP runes for uh, AP EXO attempts, uh, MP runes, and I will probably also be farming um, some of the uh, range runes as well as uh, some of uh, the percent, or percent re resist runes. And um, I may or may not do a video on me farming the critical damage as well as the... Um, um, uh, percent power runes so uh, anyways guys uh, just stay tuned and um, like this video comment and subscribe and if you have any questions or just want to give me a shout out just holler later guys